there's a protocol called SSDP. And it is used in homes and maybe small offices. And you can scan for it. So what SSDP, or Simple Service Discovery Protocol, is all about, it's based on IP. It is used to advertise and discover network services and presence. And what it is, is it's trying to find things without the help of DHCP or DNS and without special static configurations. It's based on universal plug and play, and it's meant for use in residential or small office environments. And so this actually, um, on top of, it runs on top of HTTP, and it could be uh, TCP or a version of HTTP on UDP, which runs on IP, which runs on Ethernet, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth. And it has these three little components here. And um, together they make up the universal plug and play dev device architecture. Because you, you might recall, UPnP is a way for um, devices to immediately work on the network together. So there is uh, the Simple Service Discovery Protocol, there's SOAP, and there's something called GINA. So SOAP, this is just a messaging protocol. Um, it's a specification for exchanging structured information about web services. Um, it's based on XML. It is extensible, neutral, and independent. It uh, usually runs on HTTP, but it could be SMTP or other types of protocols. It doesn't have to be HTTP. Uh, and it, because it's XML based, you can have Windows and Linux and other types of OSs talking to each other. GINA is the general event notification architecture. It defines what an HTTP notification is supposed to be like. And it will transmit notifications between HTTP sources, resources, devices, whatever. So H SSDP scanning is used to discover plug and play devices on the network. Because if you can find those, maybe you can launch some buffer overflows or denial of service. You could see if a machine is exploitable or if it has been exploited. Um, usually works when the machines are not fire firewalled, but it can work over IPv4 and IPv6. So that is the more specialized scanning tools.